This is Movie Division. Today, I'm going to recap the action drama mystery movie entitled Last Seen Alive. Spoilers ahead, watch out. Will and his wife Lisa are found having a long drive. However, things don't seem to be going smoothly between the couple, but Will was trying to sort things out with his wife. Soon, it is revealed that Will and Lisa's marriage is on the verge of collapse, and Lisa will end the relationship and spend several days at her parents' house in search of a new perspective on life. However, things have become more complicated since Lisa was trapped in an extramarital relationship with a surrogacy man almost six months ago, and maybe this experience that made her realize just how much entangled she is in the marriage with Will. As they continued talking, they had to stop by to refuel their car, and Lisa goes to the charity shop at the filling station. In it, she used the toilet and bought bottled water. We also see her receiving messages from the man she is having sex with, but it is clear that she has been chasing him for a long time. However, as Lisa leaves the store, we see someone pull her closer. A truck passes them, making Will lose sight of her. But later, when the bus was gone, the woman is nowhere to be found. Although Will became disturbed, after some time, he managed to find his wife's number and even called her. However, there is no answer. He looks from the store to the toilet, and shortly after that asks the man who works at the counter, but he doesn't seem to have seen her either. Unusually, and adding to the mystery, the salesman refuses to see anyone who matches the presentation of Lisa and Wills, no matter how he talks to her, and leaves her very advice. This is very unfortunate for the fellow. Then he calls the police and complained about his wife, who seems to have suddenly disappeared at some point. As the police begin their investigation into the case, Detective Patterson appears on the scene and takes all the necessary information from Will. Meanwhile, Will went to Lisa's parents' house, two or three miles away from the store, to see if she was doing well there. The parents, who have all the characteristics of no special support for their child in a good situation, are immediately pushed because Lisa does not show, and even developed a suspicion on Will's side. The police also have some ideas about the partner, because the couple is not in the happiest moment and is planning to separate due to Lisa's involvement in extramarital relationships. They assumed this gave Will the best opportunity to try to criticize or even kill his wife. At this point, Patterson was not allowed to walk free. There is no doubt that Patterson seems to understand the armchair salesman very well, since he is a resident of the local area, and he looks at the name, Oscar, saying that it shows a camera display and footage of the CCTV camera. Oscar refers to the fact that the camera is screwed, but when the expert left, Will saw the camera and its light exploded, and he tries hard to suggest it. Will walks in anger again and subverts Oscar, before finally pressing him to the bring the hard drive and records to the central police law. While checking the footage, they find Lisa talking to a man outside the store, before the truck speeds away. Showing the video to Lisa's parents will make it clear that the man seen talking to her is their person, called Knuckles. They further understand that Knuckles is Lisa's childhood friend at school, but the boy grew up without a regular job or calling, so he ends up doing part-time non-art jobs for the villagers, including themselves. The mother then recognized the car seen in the video in the same way and remembered seeing a similar car a few days ago in a nearby parking lot. Will showed up in the parking area soon, without telling the police, and goes into the things that are overlooked in the main house. He stared at Knuckles, struggling to put something in a bag, and he had all the signs of being a human being. Shall break into the room and see Knuckles very quickly packing his bags. A fight ensues and Knuckles begin to try a draw a gun and life partner, but is caught when Will defeats him. Knuckle now realizes that he has taken Lisa to a man named Plain, but he wants to leave her there alone because Optus is too dangerous. However, Will doesn't take long to connect, as he limits Knuckles' options with legs and throws him into his car, saying that he will lead the release process. As Will speeds his car through the area, he passes what many would think is possible and is chased by a police car. Not wanting to confuse what was going on, he stopped and made a standard check. The police officer, in any case, suspects foul play, and wants him to run away from the car instead of giving him a speeding ticket. As the authority is going to open the trunk of the car, in which the knuckles in the fire are delivered, Will makes himself a mission and enters the nearby forest. By the time he was searched, Will would go out and find Candid and pull him out in an hour or so. When he got out there, he noticed that it looked like a drug compound where meth and other drugs were made nearby. He sees Gruff, recognizes the man when the others yell at him, and quietly chases after him to investigate. Meanwhile, Oscar was also seen coming to the camp, and it seems that the man is a guest there. Will eventually finds a way to gravitate towards Dull in an important barn that has been turned into a meth lab. He slowly came out of hiding and faced Direct and his men, followed by a quick burst of gunfire. The noxious companion kills the crooks and tries hard to corner Gruff to find out more about Lisa, but every time he shoots the man down. 
Will, feeling broken as the last thing that he can be accepted, shows until the soul of his wife is now lost, and as he leaves the design in his appointment, he does not consider a small outing started from shooting and any dangerous flammable liquids. He starts to scream softly, remembering Lisa is now tormenting him, but the blue Oscar rises from the pony blanket, shooting uncontrollably. The kidnapper now claims to know all about Lisa's estate and is demanding $20,000 in exchange for understanding. It's not obvious from the start, but that quickly changes when Oscar pulls out Lisa's phone, making it clear that he's involved too. Will agrees to pay the money, but as Oscar says something, the entire pony's casing explodes, killing him instantly. Meanwhile, Patterson has arrived at Will's car stop, and Knuckles is found inside. The police are now watching Knuckles and using all the power they can to extract information. Knuckles finally separates and finds out what happened without a doubt, since the man has no strange calling except for the use of permanent and expensive drugs. He always needs the money. While working with Lisa's people, he found out that the woman was coming back to town in two or three days, so he devised a diversion plan and gave it to Plane. They know that Lisa is married to Will, a wealthy professional who has money and understands that a spouse will pay a lot of money to save his better half. Although Plane hadn't specifically put a name to the plan, Knuckles had decided to put it into action when he saw his friend rooted to the corner store that morning. Appearing to give her a letter to stay at her father's house, Knuckles has found a way to get Lisa close to his car and drive her away. Then at that time, he took Lisa to Dull's drug camp, but the man was angry because he thought Knuckles had to leave his mark on the aid desk saying that it is unreasonably dangerous to keep Lisa or even burn her. Direct makes Knuckles plan to dig a pit that will cover and kill Lisa. The foot was very frightened by the whole situation and flew into the forest while digging the hole. She returned to her own house and was speeding through town when Will walked back and forth behind her. Entering his tears with Patterson, Knuckles continued to talk about the fact that Lisa could die now because Open is a dangerous man to keep her alive. Crime expert Patterson reports at the prescription camp, where other police officers and firefighters had shown up after the horrific incident. He found a depressed person to sit on the side and asked his partner to be there without telling him about Lisa's death. As the crime expert begins to look at the property and sees a large hole dug in the backyard, Will seems to hear a commotion nearby. Patterson removed the sheet of paper he used to hide the pit and thought it was empty. At almost the same minute, Will sees the small toilet where the commotion is coming from. With an unexpected burst of confidence finally gained, he opened the trapdoor and entered to find Lisa lying inside, alive but with her choice restricted by her legs and silenced. He boldly takes his wife outside, as he does so to save her, and get rid of her. It seems from all reports that if Knuckles has the end of Lisa going on, that the opinion of the man given the way Gruff is, and the magic spell expert has made it clear in the post that it is acceptable in its business for the time being. Kill the woman first. Also, it's possible that he finally decided to keep Lisa alive if he could get the investment money and not give it to Knuckles. As Lisa is being examined and taken home, Patterson comes out and meets Will in the garage, saying that Knuckles wrote the statement, taking all the credit for getting it. The investigator sheds light on the fact that however Knuckles' form is a critical amount of what happened after the seizure because all the others are dead and Lisa will not know. It seems Patterson decides that Oscar has been everything. When he went to the direct camp, he probably picked up Lisa's phone from the convenience store, which crashed when he was caught. Patterson also noticed that a few of the rare animals in the zoo were able to expel tin from the impact, suggesting that he understood that it would kill them, but the officer would not worry about it. Finally, as it rains outside, Lisa gets up and asks Will to join her and her family inside, providing a rewarding meeting between the two. And the movie ends here. If you enjoyed the recap, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on the bell notification and comment down your favorite part of the movie. Thanks for watching!